Good afternoon and welcome to a, another video from the Phantom 3 Standard. And today we are going to be looking into the IMU calibration which needs to be done before you fly. And in this case, as I've not flown it yet due to the lovely weather conditions we have in the UK, um, it's been ages, but I need to get it done for when the weather is a lot better. Um, ideally, this needs to be done uh, if you crash or after you crash uh, and you're about to launch it back up in the air again uh, and after you do a firmware update and possibly every six weeks anyway, um, just so it can uh, make sure that it self levels everything. Um, so how or what we need to today is obviously we're going to need the Phantom 3 and we're going to need the remote controller as well. Um, you're also going to need your tablet or mobile phone and that's where we're going to be doing the calibration from. So first off we turn on the standard and the remote and we'll link it all together. So now we've got it all plugged in ready to go what we need to go into the left hand corner where it says P GPS and we're going to click on that and then down the bottom you can see the menu that says sensors and you're going to want to click on the IMU calibration button which is there and that will basically start the calibration process and is likely to take between five to ten minutes to complete uh, the blue bar will be at zero and will move up, obviously, uh, until it reaches 100%, and then you're done. Right, you'll see from the screen that uh, under the IMU calibration, it's gone red. IMU calibration is okay. It's at 100%, and uh, it's all done and dusted. Nice, simple uh, thing to do. Um, whilst we also can do this uh, on the camera symbol to the left hand side down the bottom we can click that and click gimbal auto calibration whilst we're here again make sure it's level click OK and what will happen is the gimbal will now start to uh, just move around um, and just make sure that everything is all in order and that uh, it's all dead straight there. So there you have it. And very simple uh, thing you need to do, but you do need to do it because it will also beep at you if you don't. Um, make sure you do it uh, regularly, certainly after every firmware update, and uh, you're ready to go. So thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up to the video, It'd be really helpful. Please also visit my website, dronesco.uk, there's a link in the description. Uh, you can also start to buy some Phantom uh, accessories there as well uh, at very cheap prices. And uh, I will return with more videos very soon. Thank you again, uh, please subscribe, uh, share my videos as well, and uh, it's all very much appreciated. Thank you.